Virgo, welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with your singles love reading for mid-September right through to mid-October 2022. I've already cleansed your space and have meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all your wonderful likes, shares and subscribes. I am truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder though, this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also, please be mindful, scammers are about to pretend to be me and lots of other tarot readers. I do not do personal readings, I do not take your money, e-gifts, donations. I'm not on Facebook, WhatsApp, PayPal, Telegram or Patreon. I will never ask you for your credit card details, I will never ask for personal details, and I will never ever give you a cell phone number to call. So if anyone masquerading as me asks you for anything at all, please report them or ignore them. It is a scam, okay? Let's move straight on with your reading. I'm going to cleanse your space hourly, so please be mindful there's going to be three loud sounds. Let us begin. Okay, my beautiful Virgo, this is your singles love reading for those of you who are currently looking for love. I'm going to get all of your cards first before I connect to an outcome. But just to make you aware, there are currently six planets in retrograde, okay? So it is a very difficult time to find love in the first place. I mean, it's not um, unheard of, of course, but it may be a little bit more difficult than usual. Especially since we have a clash between Venus, the planet of love, and erratic Uranus, okay? So this can mean that there are shocking surprises in love, twists and turns, but it can also mean there's a little bit of a bumpy ride when it comes to finding true love. Now, of course, your first house of identity, your appearance, your image, and self-care routines are starred during this period. So you may be feeling a little bit more, um, you know, handsome or pretty than usual. It's not about aesthetics. It's more about you feeling comfortable within your own skin, okay? Also, your seventh house of relationships are starred, okay? So you may feel a little bit more focused on love or partnerships than usual, whether that's you looking back at the past experiences that you've had already, trying to process them and grow from them, or whether it is about you, um, you know, looking at situations that you do not want to repeat, could also be, I mean, you've got the card of friendship here, so there could be someone that you're thinking a uh, friendship is starting to grow into something a little bit more, and you're wondering if they have feelings for you. We've got the card of the spy there as well. We've got healing. They want me to go one more. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Golden Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Virgo? What do they need to know? And we have open up. Okay. So this can be um, about you and a person that, you know, deep down you have feelings for each other, but... It's something that has to be nurtured. You have to open up and really explore feelings. So I'll see if there is um, you know, a connection between you and somebody already. We've got hanged human. This could be a relationship that's been put on pause. It could also be a relationship or a friendship that has um, remained in the friend zone for a while. But it looks like things are changing. We've got the star. There's healing again. They want me to go one more. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide... And we've got the sun. So there's a bit of an awakening occurring in this particular um, friendship. I mean, this could be somebody that you know, um, that perhaps, you know, it's an acquaintance and you're hoping that something happens in this connection. Perhaps there's already a frizz on between you and this person, but it's not developed into something more yet. I do feel like this person is going to open up. So um, we got the Queen of Wands there, which is about feeling very attractive, opening yourself up to knowing that you deserve love and being magnetic at this time, especially since that first house is activated for you. That's about how you feel about your appearance, gaining confidence. Also, I feel like you're attracting a lot of attention over the next four to five weeks. So even if there is a friendship that you have, you know, maybe a little bit more feelings towards, perhaps, um, if you're not going to develop that even further with a person, you're going to attract a lot of attention. So potential um, love suitors. Uh, let's see what else is coming on in for you. We've got King of Swords. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Great Angels. We've got a Lover's card here. So uh, definitely a divine union showing up for you. And we've also got the Two of Swords. And we go one more. more well, they said two more. So two more. Okay. Thank you so much. Uh, we have the Eight of Swords and we have the Tower. 
So that is about a stagnant situation coming to a front, coming to a four, where it's like, you know, it's almost like everything that's been pent up, all that energy, that love, that feeling has been sort of put into a little box. It's suddenly exploding. It's almost like you can't contain yourself anymore and neither can this person. So, I mean, the energy that I'm picking up from this particular reading is that there's someone that you find attractive already that you're keeping your eye on. This person is also keeping their eye on you. It's a mutual feeling. I feel like both of you actually, uh, maybe you've had a relationship with this person in the past or a flirtation because the lover's card is present, which means you and this person, you currently may be apart at this time and there may be fears that you and this person have to really address before you come together. Um, so we've got the card of friendship. So um, I'm going to pull a quick card on this just to make sure it's not that you're getting an invitation from a friend or that they've got, I mean, we've got the moon here, which is indicative of someone having hidden feelings for you. So I'm going to pull a card and see if this is a friend who's going to open up and tell you how they feel. I'm going to see if you have the same feelings for this person. Um, let's go with this deck. Okay. Um, can you please clarify friendship for me? Four of Wands. It's in the reverse. So this is someone that you haven't seen for a while. I mean, the Four of Wands tends to be a card of, uh, in the upright, it tends to be a card of, you know, friendship, people that you've seen for a while, you know, haven't seen for a while, reuniting. This can be someone that you've been separated from for a while, but you think about them fondly. Um, this may be someone that you may also uh, have feelings for, but you're at a distance. There's definitely an energy here of, um, you perhaps having separated from somebody or there have been feelings before. I mean, we've got the 11, 11 portal there, which means deep down you feel like there's a soul connection between you and this person. We've got the strength card. I mean, this person can have strong Leo in their chart. doesn't have to, but the strength card and the sun card. I mean, there's, you know, strong Leo in the chart. We got two Leo cards right there. So this is a, this could be someone that you've been separated from, that you've been thinking about, but it can also be like a friend that you haven't seen for a while, that perhaps you had a flirtation or a, you had feelings for each other, but you, life got in the way perhaps, or, you know, you, you know, sometimes people got feelings for each other, but it's never the right time. You're in other relationships or other experiences happen. So I just get this energy here of this relationship starting to flourish. I feel like my beautiful uh, Virgos out there, you're meant to learn self-love. You're meant to learn self-care routines before you connect to this, okay? Um, this person is thinking about you. They are thinking about you as well. They're thinking about the good times that they had with you, but you're apart. Okay, let me go with another deck. I'm just gonna clarify. Um, is this someone who has hidden feelings for you or does Virgo already know? Um, we're uh, picking up the, uh, I'm taking the uprights in this deck, just so you're aware. Queen of Swords, this is someone you, you see as very, very independent. Someone who, Queen of Cup, King of Cups, yeah, this person, there is love here. I mean, we got the King and Queen of Swords here. So I feel like part of you feels that this person is, they lead with their head and sometimes you do. So both of you are very sort of like, it's almost like you talk yourself out of this or you overthink, but both of you are thinking of each other. And there's love here. There's love, there's passion, there's devotion. So whether this is a friendship that is just on pause or you haven't got to the stage of opening up to each other. This is going to, if it's a stalemate energy, because we got the hangman right there. So it's like, there's delay, there's waiting. But we've got the tower there, which means this is all going to come out. This is going to, there's going to be a radical change in this connection. And both of you are going to say how you feel. And both of you, there is the feeling of love here. Um, there's going to be healing. There's going to be sudden realization. Both of you are going to open up towards each other and I feel like there's divine union here. Um, a little bit more. Page of Wands. This is about being bold. Yeah, but being bold to say how you feel. Okay, Page of Wands is about being curious, but also being bold, doing something differently. And the Knight of Swords is to uh, change the way that you communicate. So I feel like it's about opening up. This person, there may be an age gap between you and this person in some way, and that's why there's a little bit of uh, conflict. But um, 
I see a friendship that is actually, you know, quite a solid foundation, actually, a friendship, but it's turning into something a little bit more solid. But there may be a, a fear of a friendship sort of crossing a line and it being a delicate situation, perhaps because you're all, perhaps you've got friends in common. We've got the hangman here. So that's, this is your protagonist energy. It's like on pause in limbo. You don't know where you stand with this person. So right now it may be at like, are we just friends? Are we just acquaintances? Is this a thing? Is this not a thing? This hanged human energy is like, you can see the potential in this connection. There's a lot of passion. There's, you think about this person a lot, but it's like, you got the king of swords here. You're thinking before you act and there is passion. You, you feel like this person makes you happy. You feel attractive with this person in some way. But I do feel, my beautiful Virgo, you're actually going to be attracting a lot of attention. This is a card of all eyes being on you, of people looking your way. And if you don't know who this is, it could be that there's a friend that you have who suddenly sees you in a different light because you're emanating a different frequency this month into October and they just see you in a different way and they have hidden feelings for you. And I feel like this person's waiting for the right time. This is, if you don't know who this person is, it's the friend who always wants to do you a favor or always wants to help you out. They're always there for you. That's a friend. They've got, they, they have feelings for you. They always make sure they show up for you. Okay. They find you very attractive. So King of Swords energy, King of Swords means there's someone you're thinking about though. Okay. Uh, so I, I just get this energy that there's someone on your mind that you find attractive, but it's just not going anywhere right now, or it seems to just be in limbo. So I'll just pull one more card on that before I move forward. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Going Angels. Can you please clarify that first row? Ten of Wands. Now there's a lot of baggage. So perhaps you and this person go way back and there's a lot to unpick or there's a lot to really get through. Page of Wands is showing up again and the Knight of Swords. You both got to just be bold and just hash it out and say how you feel. Because I see both of you feeling the same way. I mean, I've shuffled the deck. They've come out again. Now, this can mean that... Um, this can also mean... These two cards can also mean... Because I'm getting a secondary energy here. That every time you and this person are about to move forward and sort of get close to each other or say how you feel... Something gets in the way. But I feel like both of you got to be honest and open. I mean, it's almost like life got in the way for you two or is getting, something's getting in the way. Perhaps there's baggage here from previous relationships or previous experiences that need to be unpicked. There's an honest conversation that needs to be said here. Okay. Um, in the resistance position, we've got effort. It's in the resistance position. So it's like got it in the reverse. So either you put a lot of effort into this, my beautiful Virgo, and the person that you're with or thinking about did not, or vice versa. There's an energy here of this has the potential to be something really beautiful, something to grow, but it needs effort. It requires um, cultivating. I mean, look at all those hearts there. There is a lot of love, but it's like that outpouring. Something needs to be nurtured. We've got the cosmos. Now, now, this is about doorways and portals opening. So you may have felt like it was never divine timing. It was always off. You know, um, many, many years ago, um, I had a friend who um, she used to talk about this guy all the time. And it was always a missed opportunity. Okay. Uh, it was never the right time. When she was with somebody, um, that person that she also had, you know, they had feelings for each other when they were younger, but they never expressed it. And then she got into a relationship with a guy and then um, the guy that she actually had feelings for when she was younger, but it never went anywhere. Uh, he was single. And then just when she came out of a relationship, not to leave uh, that relationship for the person, it just naturally came to an end. Then he was in a relationship. So it's always like ships passing in the night. They never quite met. They never quite were on the same time where they could be together. So they were always faithful to the partners that they had, but they always kind of understood that somehow there was something in between them, but they never got realized. Okay. So it could be something like this. It's not unrequited love because I feel like there is feeling here, but it's always like 
it's never been the right time. It's like ships passing in the night or it's, you know, I, that's what I'm getting from this reading. Okay. Now, right now, when I touch this card, I'm being shown loads of fireworks in the water right now. Okay. Loads of fireworks. So either you're going to be invited to an event where there is fireworks or you're going to be walking down the sidewalk and there's going to be firecrackers or fireworks going off. This symbolizes a change in the relationship between you and this person. It could even be that you and this person are going to reunite and at an event and they've got fireworks. And this is like a realization of the moment where both of you are going to be like honest and open and say, you know what? I always had feelings for you. And that person could be like, yeah, me too. You know, why did we never make it work? Well, time is now. So I feel like it's something coming together, something formulating here. A portal is opening for you and this person. Missed opportunities are being realized and suddenly the time is right. We got the moon card here, which is all about fear. Um, it's about, you know, um, the hidden. So I feel like a portal is opening up for, um, you know, you and this person to overcome fears um, and sort of hidden feelings are coming to light. That's what I keep getting. This is a card of all that is hidden coming to the surface. And finally, both of you realizing that actually there are a lot of feelings here, that both of you are stuck on each other. And it is love. We've got the lover's card. So this can also mean that you or this person, um, you know, you went through a separation and it's raised a lot of fear and anxiety in you. And it's like put you on pause. You took yourself out of the dating game for a while. But I feel there's someone here that you want to explore something with a little bit more. And they also want to explore that with you. So whether it is a friend or an acquaintance or, you know, someone that you find attractive in the coffee store that you consider like a friend every time you go in, there's definitely a frizz on between you and a person that has yet to be realized and is going to be explored. This is a soulmate. OK, this it starts off in the reverse position, which means, you know, you haven't met your soulmate yet. You felt really disbanded or off your center. And by the end of well, it's towards middle to the end of October. There is a divine union on the cards. So there's definitely a soulmate connection coming on in. But of course, you have choice because that card is all about choice. It's about divine timing. It's about what your focus is. Now, the outcome energy, we've got spy. So that's about keeping your eye on somebody. Now, what's really interesting is, I think it was a Scorpio reading, um, where there was, uh, in the water, it came up um, 007, and my guides were like, it's 007. There was something about um, a spy or talking about, um, and they did not get this card, just so you're aware, um, something about James Bond, a conversation about James Bond. So if you're dealing with a Scorpio, and you've had a conversation about, a spy or uh, being a secret agent or James Bond even, um, then this means this person has really deep feelings for you, really deep feelings for you, okay? Because there's a connection there between the Virgo and Scorpio reading right now. Um, but this can also be that this person's got eyes on you. They're keeping an eye on you. But I actually see you actually doing the same. This person keeps, um, there's a bit of a distance. It's almost like they it's not that they don't want to reveal their feelings because this person really does. So either this person is healing from something else or, um, I mean, you've also got, yeah, healing and we've got open up. So whatever it is, either you or this person is going through, there's going to be like a moment of realization, healing and disclosure. I feel like it's like hidden disclosure. It's going to be like a revealing of feelings. This person is going to expose how they feel about you. And they're, they're going to, I feel like the way that they're going to message you is like, I can't stop thinking about you. It's, 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 it's going to be something like that. And it may be something like, I can't stop thinking about that time we had a laugh doing this. And they're going to try and make it seem really innocuous, like a friend memory at first, but really this person has feelings for you. They think about you all the time, okay? Um, now, either this person has gone through a very damaging experience in love or you have and you're healing. And that's why maybe you and this person have kept things at a distance just intuitively. But no, we've got open up. And it's number 18, which is the moon card, which means this person has deep feelings. They feel a very intense bond with you. Um, and intuitively, they know that you're their person. Now, I'm going to pull a card and see how you feel about them, but I feel like you're thinking about this person as well. So um, let me just see. 
Um, if you've fallen out with someone or separated from someone, this could also mean that you're mending or healing something with somebody because we've got the Three of Pentacles, which is to mend something or to work together to make something that's delicate stronger. Um, and also, also got the star energy. So this could be that you're healing something with somebody. Okay. But the energy that I'm getting is that you have someone in your mind already and you want to connect to that person. So let me just clarify that energy for you. Thanks so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide magicians? That's all about uh, focus. And we've got the Knight of Pentacles. A solid relationship, um, making an effort in the connection, wanting to go the distance, the world card. So getting closure on previous experiences, entering a new cycle. I mean, you got two major arcana cards here. So I feel like a portal is opening up for you and this person to be right yeah, the tower in the moon. This person's got hidden feelings for you. So if you really do not know who this person is, they're a friend of yours and they are harboring deep feelings. They want a relationship with you. They are in love with you. This person sees you as their soulmate and they can't hold it in anymore. The tower, I mean, this person may be Scorpio Aries energy with a little bit of earth, but there's a bit of fire energy there as well, a little bit of Leo going on. So they may have various energies in their chart in those um, placements. The tower indicates this person's willing to take a leap of faith and just expose how they feel because they're getting uncomfortable with their feelings. It's almost like everything they've bottled up is um, coming to the fore. It's exploding into like all this emotion. They can't contain it anymore. Okay, this person wants to tell you they can't stop thinking about you. They've been manifesting you and they want to offer you something really solid. They've been waiting a long time to tell you how they feel. The world card indicates you're their everything. They want, they feel now is the time to, they come into some sort of balance. They want to open up their feelings. Yes, they feel nervous. Yes, they felt fear, but I feel like they're going to disclose how they feel. They can't keep it in anymore. Okay, so I feel this person is going to tell you. Um, now, we've got the uh, star energy and we've also got the sun. So this is about clarity. This is about an awakening. Okay, so this is about a, re a reveal. Suddenly you see. Now I'm going to pull a card and see how you feel about this person because I just want to make sure that you know who this person is, that you, you know, because the tower can also represent a shock. Suddenly someone that you thought was a friend shocks you and tells you how they feel. So how does my beautiful Virgo feel about this person? Can you please clarify? The five of wands. The chariot card. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Great Angels. Okay, so um, the five of wands there and the chariot card with the eight of cups indicates um, you're conflicted as to whether you should stay or go. Perhaps you're feeling like you're crossing a line. Five of wands is a card of conflict. The chariot card is about which direction to go in. And the eight of cups is a card of feeling... I, I just get this energy of you're thinking about walking away from this person if they don't tell you how they feel. That's what I'm getting. I want to clarify that. Chariot and the Eight of Cups. Yeah, you're moving forward if they don't tell you how they feel. The Temperance card there. Uh, I do apologize if you can hear that motorcycle. I mean, I'm in a different part of the world right now. <laughs> I'm at my folks' house and still there's a motorcyclist that just goes up and down, up and down. It's almost like I'm in the matrix and there is like, you know, suddenly there's a glitch in the matrix where everything that's happening where I normally am located is happening here also. So it's very, very funny. Uh, but anyway, moving on. I mean, listen to that. They're just going up and down, up and down. They must have got a new motorcycle. Anyway, let's move on. Um, the five of um, wands there with the chariot card is like you're patiently waiting for this person to open up. And you're conflicted because I feel like you're about to walk away from this or give up on this. And I'm only saying that because we've also got the eight of swords here and the three of pentacles and the two of swords. You're undecided about this. Clarify the Two of Swords on its own for me, please. Thank you so much. The High Priestess, that's you, my beautiful Virgo. You feel like there is a psychic bond between you and this person or there is an undisclosed bond between you and this person. Three of Swords. Now, either this person has gone through a heartbreak or you find it difficult to express yourself with this person. 
I mean, if, if you find it difficult to open up to this person, then perhaps this person is not the one that's meant for you. Um, perhaps there's a, a, a choice here because we've got the lover's card, which indicates a choice. But are you shocked? Let me see. Are you shocked with this person? Because I, you know, I'm getting this energy that you're thinking about this person as well. Yeah, moon card. You've got hidden feelings for this person also. So there is a, it's a very complex reading. I feel like there's something in the way of you and this person expressing yourselves to each other. So let me see, what is the blockage? Why is there a blockage? Why is you and this person not revealing how you feel? King of Cups, Scorpio, love. I didn't have to be a Scorpio. Virgo, I mean, if your person's got Scorpio placements, it's almost like, look, we got King of Cups, which is someone who loves, and then we've got someone who wants to settle down. We got Virgo there, that's your card. So this is someone who wants a secure relationship, who wants to settle down. Um, I mean, for some of you with the Queen of Pentacles, some of you, um, you and this person, because the Chariot card, you may be at a distance. So it's very difficult for you and this person to maybe a long distance relationship. And it's very difficult to connect to, but I feel like you'll try to make this work. Queen of Pentacles can also be that you have responsibilities in the home space, either to relatives or family or to children, or they do. I'm just going to pull one more and see what the blockage is here. Can you please clarify a little bit more? The Empress. Now, the Empress can be about age. So... Because I feel like there's one part of the party feels like age is a factor. So whether it's you, my beautiful Virgo, or the person, um, it's maturity. It's, it's, it feels like it's an age thing. It could also be a children thing. It could be that uh, you feel like you've got responsibilities right now. And this is something that you cannot connect to. But we got the star and the sun, awakening, realization. Uh, this relationship has the potential to flourish. To be something really solid there's a brick wall there as you can see we've got three of pentacles now the three of pentacles i gotta be honest because we've got three of pentacles the king of cups keeps showing up we've also got a king of swords and a queen of um wands there i mean i don't feel like i'm picking up on a third party situation i gotta be honest with you but there could be some sort of you know third party influence either this person is currently breaking up with someone or you've just broken up with someone and there's some healing that needs to be done before you actually get in a connection but this means a delicate situation becoming a little bit more solid so maybe that's why you and this person are a little bit hesitant to get involved with something even though there's feelings here and you feel like this person's a, a soulmate it's a delicate situation that's what i keep coming up with i keep getting this energy if it's delicate bye -bye. There, there's it's a bit complex so we can't just rush into this. There has to be a bit of a pause. There has to be a bit of healing. There has to be a bit of opening up to be done first. Maybe you and this person need to mend things between you. So, I mean, it's going to take some work. Definitely some working together happening here. You've got the star and healing and the three of pentacles, which is, I mean, as you can see, these two birds are helping this figure mend the flower that was very delicate and make it out of bricks. They were supplying the nails and the hammer. So it's all about mending things. We got the Eight of Swords, which is anxiety, fear, nervousness. Um, something perhaps you're not seeing just yet. But because we got the star and the sun, it means all will become clear. And you got the card of opening up. So I feel when the... When the emotions are out in the air and everybody's disclosed how they feel, the two of swords is like, now you got to make a decision. It's decision time. It's like, there's a little bit of confusion. I mean, the two of swords indicates stalemate. Nothing's happening between you and this person. And it's just like, both of you are sitting there looking at each other like, I know you're the one. Well, I know you're the one, but nobody's saying it. Nobody can see. I feel like everybody around you can see that there's love there, that both of you should be together. What is required is a tower moment where both of you come out of the comfort zone, expose how you feel, and just lay it all out on the line. And that's what I feel is going to happen in this connection. 
it becomes too much. One of you can't hold it in anymore. It's like, I'm in love with you. We got to do something about this. Or it'll be a missed opportunity forever. Because if you do what you always did, you're always going to get the same outcome. I mean, to get the tower and the open up card, this is a big reveal. This is opening a door that once you go through that door, there is no going back. Both of you are saying how you feel. And it can feel like you're in a very vulnerable position. But actually, it's a liberating position, okay? I'm going to pull uh, three cards just to clarify that tower. Can you please clarify that tower for my beautiful Virgo? We've got the King of Pentacles. We've got the Seven of Wands. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Green Angels. And we've got the Six of Wands. So this is about a you know long-term relationship, King of Pentacles. I mean, you've got the Queen of Pentacles that came out earlier. Um, King of Pentacles is like making a decision, investing in a relationship. Seven of Wands is like going the distance, persevering, not giving up on this. Even though you're guarded, it's something that you don't want to give up on. And the Six of Wands indicates there's a breakthrough. Suddenly you see, suddenly um, both of you can influence this circumstance if you just message each other back and forth and or have a conversation. Clarify the King of Pentacles for me, for my beautiful Virgo. Six of Swords. The Star. We've got the Two of Wands and we've got the Page of Cups. So I feel like if this person does not tell you how they feel, if they do not open up, you're moving on. And I feel like you're opening yourself up to new love if this person does not open up. But I feel like this person, they can't hold it anymore. They're going to tell you how they feel, okay? Six of Swords is like it's a test. You're passing the test. You've gone through a difficult period, and emotionally, um, it needs to be healed. So whatever it is that you or this person has gone through, there is a period of healing before both of you can come together. Um, the Two of Wands is like waiting, waiting for the right time, okay? Delaying things. So if you've been going through healing, my beautiful Virgo, you've put this on pause, knowing that there's something there, and I feel like then the offer of love comes on in. Page of Cups. Now, if you're trying to heal something with somebody, the Page of Cups can rep represent an apology. Two people loving each other, expressing themselves, and saying how they feel. But the Page of Cups also indicates a an age difference between you and the person so it's a very complex reading it's not going to resonate for everyone but i just get this energy of two people feeling the same way thinking about each other spying on each other or keeping an eye keeping tabs if you're on social media or asking friends about each other wanting to know what the other is up to and wanting to say this wanting to be in a union with each other knowing that you're soulmates but it's got stagnant there's a stalemate energy here where nothing is happening and there's going to be a breakthrough moment and both of you get to say your piece and open up and share experiences and share love and then you decide whether you want to take this further or not. But by the middle of October, you will have exposed feelings for each other. That's what I feel in this particular reading, okay? So I'm just going to uh, pull some final cards for you. I mean... I do feel like there's a part of you, my beautiful Virgo, that has issued some sort of ultimatum that if this person does not show up for you or express how they feel, then you're moving on because you're the sort of person where time waits for no person, right? But I feel a portal, a pocket of time is opening up where this person is going to express how they feel. They're going to reveal, okay? We've got Black Jaguar, Old Soul, okay? So it says... Walk through life with confidence and grace. You have power from beyond the world. Focus on what you really want. You can create your dreams. So whatever it is you're focused on, whether it is new love or this person, because I feel like it's this person, you can, you can get what you truly want, okay? They're giving me a number in the water right now, 2121, okay? And this number is either going to be the time that this person messages you or the time where... Um, you notice you're watching this reading. There's something about 2121. It may even be the last digits of this person's cell phone number or yours, or they live at that number. So please take it as it resonates. But by the next full moon, 
this person will have revealed how they feel about you. They will have exposed their feelings for you. And I feel like it's reciprocal, okay? But I do get this energy of you getting a little bit antsy and worried or nervous and like going, you know what, maybe it's not meant to be. You know what, maybe I won't cross a line. Maybe just, I'm just going to move on. And I feel just before you do that, this person is going to expose how they feel, okay? They're going to really, like, 11th hour, come on in and say, I can't contain this anymore. So... I'll leave it there. I'm just going to go and get a trinket before we close. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Going Angels. Remember the fireworks they're saying to me? Remember the fireworks? Okay, so fireworks are also important. So this person may have a message on a day where you see fireworks, or they may send you a picture of fireworks. So please take it as it resonates. We got the butterfly, which is about blossoming, change, becoming. You know, it's almost like, uh, if you think about the butterfly, uh, the butterfly is, um, it starts off as the, you know, the caterpillar, then it goes into the chrysalis. So it's the same, it's the same relationship, but it, or with itself, but it changes, it transforms. So I feel this could be about you transforming a relationship that you have with someone and it blossoming into something that it's always meant to be. Okay. So I just get this energy of things becoming, transforming in this friendship and becoming something romantic. Okay, so I'm going to leave it there. They want me to put this on the lover's card. So I, you know, the lover's card always indicates that you have a choice, my beautiful uh, Virgo, just so you're aware. But I feel like this person is going to reveal how they feel and then you get to decide how you respond going forward. So I'll leave it there. I hope something resonates in this reading for you. If it does, please like and subscribe to my channel. Completely free for you. All you have to do is press the little bell that lets you know when I update my next message. It lets me know that you resonate with the reading, which is very, very important for me too. I feel like this reading is so specific. It's not going to resonate for everyone, but of course it's got to resonate with someone out there because I wouldn't be picking up on that energy. So I'll leave it there and thank you so much and love and light.